Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The National Guard Commander expressed sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The BDF Commander-in-Chief expressed sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace in the presence of His Majesty's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and national security advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Royal Court Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziya Zainal, the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh, and the President of the Cassation Court and Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Judicial Council, Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan al Bainain, who offered their sincere condolences on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa. They hailed His Royal Highness's services for the country and his efforts in bolstering its progress march. They wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa success in carrying out his responsibilities to achieve the aspirations of the nation and the people. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for their noble sentiments and their wishes for the late Premier to rest in eternal peace. He affirmed that the Kingdom had lost one of its loyal men who had dedicated his life for the service of his country. He also hailed the efforts of representatives and Shura Council's Speaker and Chairman in serving the homeland and the people and strengthening the foundations of the Kingdom's democratic march. His Majesty also hailed the efforts of the President of the Cassation Court in serving the Bahraini judiciary and its developments to achieve justice, preserve rights and freedoms, and enhance the security and stability of society. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of Djibouti, Ismail Amar Gila, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of Tatarstan, Rustam Minikanov, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of the Czech Republic, Andrei Babis, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from Al Azhar Al Sharif Grand Imam, Dr. Ahmed Muhammad Ahmed Al Tayyib, who offered him heartfelt condolences and consolation over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to Dr. Al Tayyib for his noble feelings. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the personal advisor to the Russian President for the Middle East, North Africa, and Arab and Islamic Affairs, Vitali Nomkin, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The National Guard Commander expressed sincere condolences and consolation to His Royal Highness, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Asghir Air Base to offer his deepest condolences to Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the advisor to the Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the grandchildren of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness further received condolences at the Asghir Air Base from senior members of the Royal Family. 
He recalled the noble virtues of His Royal Highness the late Premier and his dedication in serving his King and the Kingdom, adding that his outstanding leadership has gifted a proud legacy locally, regionally and internationally. His Royal Highness noted that the Kingdom has lost a great and wise leader who devoted his life to further the Kingdom's progress and the aspirations of its citizens. He further noted that His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman's many achievements remain a foundation for the Kingdom's continued development. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his condolences and sympathy at this time. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, and his accompanying delegation to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at Sakhir Air Base. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to His Highness the Prime Minister of Kuwait for paying his respect and offering his condolences.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Khir Air Base the UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of the Interior, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Presidential Affairs His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan and their accompanying delegation to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Saif and His Highness Sheikh Mansour and their accompanying delegation for pay paying their respects and offering their condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Khir Air Base the Governor of the Eastern Region of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Nayef bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Deputy Governor of the Eastern Region of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Ahmed bin Fahd bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and their accompanying delegation to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his sincere gratitude to their Royal Highnesses and their accompanying delegation for paying their respects and offering their condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the special envoy of His Majesty the Sultan of Amman, His Highness Sayyid Fatik bin Fahr Al Said and his accompanying delegation 
to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at Sakhir Air Base. His Royal Highness expressed sincere gratitude to His Highness Sayyid Fatik for paying his respects and offering his condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the GCC Secretary General Dr. Naif Al Hajraf, who offered his condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at Sakhir Air Base. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to the Secretary General for paying his respects and offering his condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Prime Minister of Egypt Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and his accompanying delegation at Sakhir Air Base to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to the Egyptian Prime Minister and his accompanying delegation for paying their respects and offering their condolences.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Skhir Air Base the President of the Presidency Council of Libya, Faiz al-Sarraj, to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to the President for paying his respects and offering his condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in which he extended his deepest condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of Djibouti, Ismail Omar Gila, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which the President extended his deepest condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Premier of China, Li Keqiang, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which he extended his deepest condolences. Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, in the presence of Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Advisor to His Royal Highness Premier His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the grandsons of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received Yemen's Vice President Lieutenant General Ali Mohsen Al Ahmar and his accompanying delegation at Skhir Air Base. The Yemeni Vice President offered condolences over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Deputy Prime Minister expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the Vice President for his noble feelings, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace.
Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in the presence of advisor to His Royal Highness Premier His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the grandsons of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received the Iraqi Foreign Affairs Minister Fuad Hussein and his accompanying delegation at Skhir Air Base. Iraqi Foreign Minister offered his condolences and conveyed the condolences and consolation of Iraqi President Barham Saleh, Prime Minister Mustafa al kadhimi and the Iraqi people following the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He praised the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa's wisdom in dealing with various regional and global issues as well as his achievements and contributions to the Kingdom's development and progress. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa expressed thanks to the Iraqi President, Prime Minister, the official delegation and the brotherly Iraqi people for their sincere condolences and noble feelings, wishing Iraq and its people further progress and prosperity. The Iraqi delegation also included Minister of Planning, Dr. Khalid Batal al-Najm, Interior Minister, Uthman al-Ghanmi, Minister of Culture, Dr. Hassan Nadam, and the representative of the Iraqi Council of Representatives Speaker, Mohammed Nouri Ahmed.